assalamu alaikum friends um, i welcome you to my channel all in one sphere i hope you all are fine and are enjoying the good health without wasting any much time let's come towards our practical my today's uh, practical that i'm going to show you is routing using ospf protocol in my previous lectures i have shown you how to do static routing how to do routing using rip protocol using eigrp protocol these protocols have saved our a lot of time because obviously in static routing we have to give all the paths but uh, in these uh, routers they are already designed there are few commands that you have to use and your uh, uh, network will be in working condition so let's come towards our practical i am going to use 2911 router so let's place three routers here and quickly place the end devices i usually use not usually but i always use auto cable and the purpose of using is that it saves a lot of time in deciding which cable do i need to use between the similar devices between the different devices and between different categories so here everything is ready now let's first step of a network is always to assign the ip addresses so let's quickly assign as ip addresses okay before assigning ip addresses let me tell you what subnets we are going to use where so i'm going to use 100.0.0.0 network here 2.0.0.0 here 15.0.0.0 here and 4.0.0 here and 200.0 here and 3.0.0.0 here so let's start again okay let's quickly assign the ip addresses i have told you before already okay enable okay there has become some issue till the time it will resolve the domain server let's go with the next router okay no enable conf t okay first of all let's access interface gig 0 by 1 and ip address 15.0.0.0 and what will be the subnet mask 255.0.0 okay no shot and do right okay let's exit from here and interface big 0 by 2 and let's assign 4.0 uh, ip address 4.0.1 okay so ip address 4.0.0.1 and let's assign the subnet mask no shut do right and then similarly go towards interface big 0 by 0 and let's assign it you have to assign it from 2 okay i have assigned wrong ip address to interface gig 0 by 1 so let's change it also 
no IP address because previously I have assigned the wrong IP address so IP, IP address will be 15.0.1 ok we are done with assigning the IP address let's close it and move towards router 9 CLI enable quantity let's quickly assign the IP addresses interface kick 0 by 1 and uh, IP address will be 4.0.0.2 and 255.0.0.0 no shut exit ok interface gig 0 by 2 and IP address will be so here I have to assign from 200 so 200 and 0 ok sorry since it's 200 so it will be 255 dot 255 ok sorry 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 and 0 dot 1 we can't assign the IP address of 200.0.0 .0 .0 and 200.0.0.255 dot 0 dot 0 dot because they are network and broadcast addresses ok so no shut and exit let's in last interface gig 0 by 0 and assign it IP address 3.0.0.1 and 255.255.0.0.0 dot 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 no shut and exit and do right so again we are done with it now coming towards here enable quantity interface gig 0 by 0 and let's assign the IP address 100.0.0.1 no shut and exit Similarly, interface gig 0 by 1, IP address 2.0.0.2 and 255.0.0.0, no shut. Okay, exit and similarly the last interface, interface gig 0 by 2 and IP address will be 3. Okay no shut exit and do right so we are done with it now let's assign the IP addresses to the pieces let's stop IP configuration 100.0.0.254 and the default gateway will obviously be off the IP address that we have assigned to gig 0 by 0 the interface with which this end device is connected dot zero dot one similarly assign here also and default gateway will again be fifteen dot zero dot zero dot one you have to place the cursor on the router and you will get to know the IP addresses that you have assigned so to zero by three okay now let's come into word PC9 and assign it IP address also. So 200.0.0.254 and the default gateway will be the IP address that have been assigned to gig 0 by 2. That is 200.0.0.1. So we are done with it. Okay. So we are done with our two steps. Now the next thing that we have to do is. 
simply configure the SPF protocol. So how do we do it? Simply. Similarly, like uh, we have, you know, done with the previous protocols. Simply type router OSPF and then we give the range or what we can say is the process ID. Uh, the process ID can obviously be any number from 1 to 65535. Five. I am right now using OSPF process ID 1. Okay. Next step is again the same do show IP route connected and these are the connected routes so what we are going to use do is simply add all these routes in the router so network 2.0.0.0 and again we have to give wildcard mask how do we do wildcard mask as i have already told you in previous lecture simply subtract the subnet mask which is in this case 255.0.0.0 from all ones that means 255.255.255.255 then we will get this answer okay there is one additional thing in ospf is that it works on areas on different areas so we will assign the area our today's practical is actually based on same area ospf using the same area so the area will be same for all the networks okay now let's enter this and if you click the upward arrow key it will give the last command you have typed and you can easily make changes quickly okay area is zero for all because right now i'm not going to change the area we will change i will show you the next practical in which that how the network work with the area changed okay so let's exit and do right the same thing we have to do in this router let's do it quickly router ospf and the id will be same do show ip route connected and here it has shown us all so now let's add these routes network and first of all, I'm going to add 2.0.0 and let's add its wildcard mask, subnet mask minus all ones. So, and I'm again going to give area 0 here. That means that it is working in the same area. So, similarly, give all the networks. Okay exit exit and do right okay similarly do the same thing here in the third router and how do we do it router ospf1 do show ip route connected and network 3.0.0.0 and wildcard mask okay and the additional thing is obviously area right now i'm going in doing area zero okay you must keep this thing in mind that the basic area is area zero if you are using the same areas in the whole network then it should be area zero and if you are using different areas, for example, there are two routers in one area, two routers in two there, then at least one area should be area zero. The next area can be anything. You can catch up that video in my next upcoming lectures and you will get better idea how OSPF works in different areas. Okay. So let's enter all right now. Let's enter all the networks so here we are exit and do right oh, don't forget to write do right else okay 
so here we have make done all the coding let's come towards network testing first method to test the network is by sending the packets and i have told you that packet sending can be first time it can be failed because obviously router has to make the uh, build the agencies and also to build the table but in third or fourth attempt it will be fine let's send the packet again and look here it is success let's send again first it will be failed but in the next few attempts it will be successful so look here it is successful and let's send it again from here to here and it is successful so you have seen our network is working perfectly fine another method to test the network is by using here command prompt and what you can do is ping so let's ping my network with pc 9 and that is 200.0.0.254 let's check so here we are getting a reply from our destination pc that means our network is working perfectly fine so friends you have seen that the practical making a network by using ospf routing protocol is quite easy all uh, you have to make sure is the area and the process id right now this practical was about to uh, you know route the packets by using ospf in the same area so that is why we have assigned area zero to all Catch up my next video in which I will show you how the network works by using different areas. Till then stay tuned. If you have liked my video, subscribe my channel and catch up the next upcoming videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.